What's going on everyone? My name is Tenebris Infinite and this is a demo dev build that I have looked forward to testing out for a long time. Today we're going to be talking about attachments in Road to Vostok. The developer of the game, Auntie, had only started work on this attachment system maybe a month or so ago, so it's very impressive to see it come to the standing that it is at now uh, in such a short amount of time. So first off, something that I'm really excited to see is a brand new ARM IK system, or inverse kinematics. And what give, this gives the opportunity for is more realistic movements of the character's arms. Uh, so when inspecting the weapon, we can now see that we hold the weapon at a slightly more natural angle for the arm to kind of stick out at and when turning the weapon the arm turns and maneuvers with the weapon appropriately. It's going to be really awesome to see this IK system get put to use towards uh, reload animations and various other animations along the way. So now let's look at the uh, titular feature here, the attachment system itself and I'm very happy with how this attachment system feels. It feels very natural. So the way you interact with it is you have to pull up the weapon in game here and then you uh, press the corresponding key. And that will swap the attachment to whatever available attachment is in your inventory. And if you want to remove an attachment, you just hold shift and then press that corresponding number key. This system winds up feeling very natural. And the swap times for the various attachments uh, feel appropriate as well, with the optics taking the longest, magazine swapping taking uh, just a little bit longer, and then muzzle swapping being a relatively quick thing to do. But wait, there's more! Not only do we have the ability to now aim typically as we normally do, but you can also aim canted. And you don't even need a canted sight in order to aim canted, which is really great to see. Uh, this is something that you can see pretty typically in Stalker Anomaly, uh, and it's very, very handy for dealing with enemies and various types of encounters. Aiming Canted is controlled by clicking in Middle Mouse, and so far, one of the things that I have to say is the default controls for the game are very ergonomic they're really natural and i think that there's a lot of thought that gets put into even just simple keybinds uh which is definitely something to highlight here there is sadly just one small bug that i'd like to highlight for the developer here in the video uh and that is when you swap around your mag and then huck this uh huck this gun out of our inventory here You'll see that the magazine has both of the magazines put into the gun. And I think that that's just because of the default magazine being kind of like set into the weapon. Uh, so hopefully that'll be something easy to fix up. But outside of that, I think that this is a really rock solid attachment system. And also the 74U, man. I am super happy to see the crank off here in the game. Oh, and here's just a tiny little detail of immersion. The fire mode selector actually swaps around. That's awesome. Ultimately, though, what I gotta say is I am very much enjoying the way we're able to interact with our weapons and engage with our weapons. It's bringing a ton of personality to uh, just the general engagement value. And I think that there's a lot to be said for things like being able to aim canted and being able to inspect your weapon and swap things around and swap the fire mode selector in real time and stuff. Uh, I think that this all has the makings for something truly great here but i want to know what do you guys think of this attachment system and if you're part of the patreon maybe if you've tested it out uh throw up some of your thoughts and feels in the comments down below uh but for now i'd like to say thank you very much for watching hopefully you all enjoyed uh get hyped for road to vostok in 2023 this game is going to pop off in a huge way uh we've got a lot to look forward to from uh demo one version two uh to future dev builds and stuff like that uh there is a lot Lot to look forward to uh, but for now thank you very much for watching and i will catch you all in the next one until then peace